this extension is wild, dude. You're like a trap. <laughs> okay, that was too much. They're gonna enjoy that too much. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. You're nice and relaxed, breathing in and out through your nose, so thinking relaxed. happy thoughts. You can close your eyes, there's nothing to look out out here. Oh. Where they're... Oh. <gasps> that wasn't too bad. I, was... I must throw up. Hey guys, I'm here with Dr. Brent Binder from the Chiropractic Medicine YouTube channel, and today I get to get adjusted. You ready? I, I am ready. All right, a couple questions first. Does anything okay. hurt right now? No. Do you have any pain normally that's frequent? Does anything um, show up for you? If anything hurts, it's my left SI joint. Don't make it so easy for me. Like, I, is it S1, S2, S3, or S4? If it bothers me, it's usually like this entire area. Okay. So we'll figure it out. Yes. All right. So, um, uh, have you ever been kicked in the spine by a camel? Is this a joke? No. No. I need to know this. No. Have you ever been decapitated before? No. Okay, we're good. All right, stand up nice and straight. Okay. Okay, I'm always looking first at the height of the mastoid process mm -hmm. because if we find laterality on that side, then that tells us it's an anterior rotation of atlas. So you have a high right-sided ear, which means high right-sided mastoid process. So if we find laterality on that side, it's an anterior atlas, which is a much different adjustment. High left shoulder, it looks like a high left hip. Let's say put your hands up on your hips. Mind if I replace your hands with my hands? Okay, let your arms count. Oh, high right hip, sneaky with the postural there. High right hip, high left shoulder, so we're compensating. Wait, wait. A cross syndrome there. That's good. It's not really a syndrome, but that's okay. All right, let's see. Um, go ahead and give me a march. Let me see how the knees and feet are moving. Okay, no pronation, supinations there. That looks fine. No inversion, subversion. I think there is a little bit of an inversion there on the left foot. Okay, which SI joint hurts? The left one. Okay, good. So we have some, maybe some fine. But keep going. Let me see the march. But the knees coming up good, and then the hips look bilateral, symmetrical from this. But I see a different. There's lights coming in on this side. Here, you want me to face this way? Here, turn your face that way, actually. Right. Okay, you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? All right. All right, I'm gonna trace up to the bottom of the glute folds here. You have a low glute fold on the left. So that means this side should be the posterior or inferior nominate, but you have a high right hip. See, that's contraindicated, in, like SOT and, and Gonset would say two different things about that. So we'll look and see which side's posterior. Looking from the top, is there, here, make your toes go together even though. Go together, like, yeah, yeah, my yeah. feet like this? Yeah, yeah, so that's okay. okay. All right, so it's still left. It's still left, and then looking from the top, the left side is, is protruding out. So do we have an EX? Do we have a PIEX on the left? That's a very rare listing. I don't see a lot of PIEXs. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, turn around facing me again here. Is there anything else I need from this moment? No. I'll no. tell you what bothers me. Oh, okay. Not pain. What? what I don't. Not, you asked, asked me but if anything hurts. I said no. But what bothers me is that I have a left lateral curvature like in my cervical spine that starts somewhere around, know, along here and I've been trying to fix this uh, for this? years. You have a translation. Yes. Turn around face me again here. Okay, so uh, Which is why when you're looking here it, Have you ever been in a car accident before? No. Have you ever had whiplash before? Probably, but not I mean, no. Do you do you headbang in mosh pits? Hmm. Okay, <laughs> sit down here. Sit down right here on the table for yourself that way, please. All right, I'm gonna lower your waistband a little bit so I can copy the SI joint, okay? okay? All right, so we're looking at the SI joint here. Is this okay? This gets, this is this a secret? What? This is a secret. Oh, my tattoo? Yeah. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> You're healed. All right, left or right, which one more? Mm, the same. Same, good. Okay, so that's at, at the level of S2. Let's come down, S3, left or right. The same. S4, left or right. The same. Okay, so where's all this SI joint stuff? Because it's not here. It's... Are you sure that it's your SI joint? Nope. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure, but mm -hmm. I could be convinced otherwise. Let's do this, turn to the left. Any discomfort, tension? Mm -mm. That feels good. Mm -hmm. Go to the right side, right side. Any discomfort, tension? Mm -mm. And that's all fine. That's okay. All right. Well, you said it was like this whole area right yeah, here. Yeah, today is a good day. Like today, it's not bothering me. But that you said, if anything bothers you, what okay, is it? It's okay, usually okay. that. All right. So it's not just it's not just soft tissue hiding either. I feel like a lot of the time good. it's it will like hurt up into here. So maybe it's mm. not my SI joint, but no, no, no. That's okay because that could be your paraspinals like um, mm. compensating. All right. Well, there's no trigger points in that glute muscle, so it doesn't feel like it's soft tissue either. All right, but let's check out the rest of the lumbar too. Good, turn to the left. 
How about that one? Any discomfort there? Mm -mm. Here? Mm -mm. Here? Mm -mm. Right side. Here? Mm -mm. Here? Mm -mm. Here? No, it just feels more restricted you, that you, way. Yeah, you're starting to feel it as we get to that. It's probably like L1, L2. All right, so maybe it's upper. Let's check the trap fibers and see. All right, uh, let's see. Use the motion palpation is your thing, right? Let's see. Yeah, you do. It's you just a that? little bit. Is this tender here? A little bit, yeah. So this is your right occiput. So is your right occiput higher like that, or is it that lateral translation? You know, we have to see what this whole upper cervical C0, C1, C2 unit mm -hmm. is doing. So here's Atlas. Mm -hmm. Atlas TP tender, right, left side, one more than the yeah. other? Uh, both. Okay, good. So maybe not Atlas so much if it's symmetrical, but here's some edema over the C2 spine, C2 transverse process. Does that feel icky to you? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, occiput C2 combination, maybe with the anterior rotate? This is fun. This isn't a, a normal listing, but that's chiropractors are always weird, you know, in their listings, I think. Yeah. It's like you're, think, like you it? have a left PI that's very obvious, but your left leg's not shorter. Like, yeah. explain that. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Exactly. Don't Please know. tell me more. That's, that's exactly that what I love. <laughs> I love this guy right here. What's that about? Yeah. You work on this thing? I do work on that. That's always like that. Is it a chiropractic injury? Look at that rainbow out there. Is it a chiropractic injury? <laughs> Ooh. It's like shining on that one. I mean, hotel. I did go to chiropractic school. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we all have those injuries, but is it a repetitive, like you adjust from the same side of the So, yes, the and I, that's you, what you I- You had this before chiropractic school? Not, no, no, and I always adjust from the same side of the table, so I was like, every time I adjust someone, Am I technically adjusting all of that in the other direction on me? That's very existential, actually. I like it. Technically, you're putting that force into your body, but in the opposite direction that you're doing, putting into the patient, right? Mm -hmm. I hear you. Here, let me crack yours. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. Come okay. on. You guys can't do one. Ooh. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Thank okay. you. Do you have an LA face down? Face down, please. Okay. okay, let's see what's happening. Good. You have a lefty shorty too, not what I expected. No dairy field for you though, doesn't matter. Look, no what? No dairy field. Dairy yeah. field? Yeah, yeah, where you, where you bend it up like this. Um, I don't do that, so the way I learned to do like leg checks were you put your thumbs on the interior side of the SI joint, whichever one has a bigger divot is PI. If the opposite side mm. is flat, then it's an AS. And I, if there's a little uh, divot, it's yeah. an AS posterior, and that's it. Okay, I need that. I need you to reteach me that okay. real quick. I'm not, not, not right now, but you definitely have a left short that crosses over to become the long leg. So that says left PI. Do you have a left PI? Because that's what the dairy field says that yeah. you have. Okay, so this is, uh, so let's see what's our primary here. Okay, please lift your right leg up in the air. Go down, left leg, down. So the right lumbar fires very nicely there, but I don't get as much like, so the contralateral paraspinal is supposed to fire. It actually is supposed to go glute, hamstring, then contralateral, then hips. That's the, that's the, the chronology of the contraction. So when you lifted this one up, the right lumbar wasn't playing quite as nice as the left lumbar. I might have said that backwards though. It was more challenging to lift the left side. It was more challenging to lift the left side, mm -hmm. which suggests the sacral, sacrum is restricted on the left, but then you would verify that with the Thompson um, sacral extension. Go ahead and do it again, right, down, left, down. Is it still more challenging? Mm -hmm. Or did it fix itself? It fixed itself. Muscle's nice and symmetrical though. There's just a little bit right there on that guy. I could probably, we could just do that. That's probably where it hurts when it hurts like that. I feel my ass like when I'm Oh, is it different left yeah. and right? Yeah. yeah. Like in there, like I feel it all the way to there. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's just take care of it. So why don't you take a deep breath in. We're gonna do a trigger point. We'll hold it down for like seven seconds, eight seconds. Oh, uh, Good, yeah. I shouldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep breathing, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and it's done. Okay. okay, that was nice. And we can go back and do it. I don't do it super hard, so we can go back and do it later in five minutes. Okay.
And you do this one too, which I really like, where you, t where you test, yeah, see? Rotates there, not that one. I'm good. So I'm checking to see if I press on the left, if the right side's moving also, like the right oh. foot moves. Wait, when you push on the left, so, the right foot moves? So just push on my left SI joint. Okay. And does my right foot move? It's probably like a little bit, right? Yeah, it's and minimal. Do the same thing on the right side. Does my left one move at all? Not that much, actually. So, but when I push on your left, the left doesn't move. But when I push on your right, your right leg externally rotates, like significantly. So the reason I do that is because if I press on one side, if the other side also moves, then there's a fixation where I'm pressing. Oh. And if they should move individually of each other, unless the somewhere in either one of the SI joints are restricted. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. I like that. Thank you. That's valuable. All right, oh, there's a barbell on this strap mm -hmm. right here. That's pretty crazy. All right, does this hurt right here? You feel anything there? Not really. L5. How about L4 here? Yeah. Mm, L3 here. Mm -mm. L2 here. Mm -mm. L one Z's here. Okay, so let's go back to that L four, right? S two, right here. S one, L five. You know how? Did you ever see the research on how terrible practitioners are at identifying Maybe segments? Yes. It's like we have no idea. Mm -hmm. Not just chiropractors, everybody. I just say this general area here. <laughs> <laughs> All right here's that L four five, L three four. Right or left? Do you feel one more than the other? Mm, same. About the same. Okay, that's fine. That's good. All right, let's check the trap fibers, S O T, and see if there's any more, if we can elucidate some of our questions. One, two, three. How's that guy right there? Is that tender, shitty? Mm, not bad? I feel it, but it's not like tender. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that. That one right there. Okay, so this is um, T9 and L5. And is that really the worst one? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. It's right here, right? Six and seven. Yeah. yeah. All right. So six is L four. So just by palpation, mm -hmm. we can say that we're, we're, we go back. We can work backwards through it. And say it's L four. So nine five. So that's T eight and L four. So let's just like randomly go to T eight and see. It's not random. The trap fiber told us to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go from both sides at the same time. T one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and then we've got S2, one, five, four, three, two, one, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight. It's pretty close. Is that the same one? Yeah, it's right there, that one. All right, how's that feel to you? That's tender. Left, right. Both. <laughs> mm. What about up here? What about one up? Is that you feel it there too? Uh, it's not as bad as the one that you were on. Let's go one down. How about that one down there? It's not as bad. All right. Well, let's just take care of this one first, okay? <laughs> nice yeah. and gentle. We'll take care. I'm gonna adjust your spine now, okay? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> okay, nice and gentle breathing. We're gonna start this guy right here. Take a deep breath in. I'm gonna follow your breath all the way down to the bottom of it. Good, very bottom. Yay! That, see, I love the quality of that sound. It was, <laughs> it was, it was bubbly, crispy. Mm -hmm. All right, there's probably some other stuff to clean up in here too, but we're gonna just, we're, we'll just, we'll just feel it out. Let's see. Two more. Ready? Right, left, right, left. Which mm -hmm. one? Well, there's one more. God, both of them. Same. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. Good. That's it's an easy, <laughs> it's an easy adjustment. All right. We're gonna do this one right here. What are we at? Two. All right, nice and gentle. I'm gonna lower that. I'm just gonna go back here. Just go like that. Okay, deep breath in. And out. Sink, 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 sink. Oh man. Nice. I'll save that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, ready? How are we doing over here on this strap fiber? Is that still tender? Yes, is no. that the same place that you were before? Ready? One, two, three. I mean, it's not. Four, no, it's five, not tender six. like it was. Yeah. Feels like it, no, no, no. That's not too bad. That's the top of the scapula. So yeah, but we still have to do the L four, even though yeah, it's one of the amazing things about trap fibers. It actually works very well with coccyx too. Or excuse mm -hmm. me. Um, what's it? What's the What's the technique? 
What? What's this technique? Logan, Logan's oh. one, I'd say. All righty, let's see. You know, one thing I learned from Bo about this thoracic lumbar transition is if you have the patient- You put their hand, that was so funny what he taught. He taught you that too? No, he taught me something completely different. Oh my God, he taught me that <laughs> and I was like, my mind was blown. <laughs> I was like, all these years you put your arms up like that. Sorry, I interrupted No, 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 I, I, I I'm do. I'm so anti-ASMR, sorry. I'll shut my mouth. No, no. <laughs> what, sorry, go ahead, tell me, what did he say? Um, okay, so you pull your belly button up to your spine. Pull your belly button up. Like that? Yeah, and then thrust from there. Hmm. So you could do it on the top of the inhale too. The, hmm. for, the further down you go. So I'm going to press on the inhale this time. Okay. So go take a deep breath in all the way in. No way. Okay, that's okay. But you could raise the feet up, and that decreases the tension in the hamstring. And that okay. helps too. Or you go like this. Go ahead and lift, like look up. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to do a PI on the left. And then I guess I'm going to adjust that. Let me check that lumbar side one more time. I love your commentary. This is great. <clears throat> this is what my chiropractic friends tell me to shut up all the time. And they're like, I'm just trying to relax and get adjusted. Stop telling mm -hmm. me what's going on. Okay, anyway. So you don't do that in your videos normally. Never. That's what I'm saying. I like it. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, one more time. Lift your right, uh, right leg. Go down. Good. Hold on, hold on. Wait till I... Wait till oh, I'm sorry. Time. Calm down. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, relax, good. Okay, right leg, down, left leg, down. The right lumbar, it doesn't want me to adjust the, the, the lumbar on the right. By that, by that, but. Okay. All right, so this is clinical decision making. What are we gonna do? I can just like be cheap and be like, oh, I should do the SI joint on both sides and be lazy about the whole thing, but it really feels like this, this uh, right here needs to be adjusted. So, two ways to do it. Okay, let's try it like this one more time, where you take a deep breath in, all the way in, go all the way in, all the way in. Yes. Did you feel that? It's dirty. <laughs> it's dirty. Did you feel that? Mm -mm. What? Yes, I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's do this side up first. Let's come over here. It might just be so bad that it's numb or it can't feel anything. It can't be that bad. Okay. All right, we're going to do the Oh, you got the, the lights are now reflected on the ceiling. Was oh, that the rainbow from across the ocean? Yes. <laughs> All right, your hands are face straight that way. Okay, nice and gentle. I'm going to do a push, okay? I'm going to use my thigh. I'm going to hit right here with my thigh against your thigh. Okay, you're breathing. You're doing great. Take a deep breath in. Good and out. Good. Shoulders relaxing. Taxi. Oh, my God. Back. That was wonderful. Mm -hmm. I think I'm alive. She's too alive. Okay. Do you want a pulse reading? Wait, are you really not going to do the other side? Mm. <gasps> you can't not do the other side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, was a, that was enough lumbar for sure. I mean, every, <laughs> that was S2 through L2. I mean, like, there were so many cavitations there. That's true. All, that one is the only one that I wanted though. Okay. Raheem would be disappointed. I'm not telling you what to do. All right, please I just asked you if you were going to not do that. <laughs> no, no, you're going to do it. Come over here. You want me to? Yes, please. What do you want me to do? Face me over here, please. Oh, face. Lay on your side, the bottom leg is straight, the top leg is bent. You're nice and relaxed, breathing in and out through your nose, so thinking relaxed. happy thoughts. You can close your eyes, there's nothing to look at out here. Actually, there is something to look at out here. Very pretty out there. All right, so we're just going to do the counter opposite, rotatory, umbilical, analgesic. Mm. Lay on your back. Your spine likes to get adjusted. Oh, I know. Especially that one, that's just fabulous. I mean, those were all, in this, there were still SI joint cavitations on both sides. Yeah. I mean, the SI joint on both sides, but mm -hmm. there's, there was comp compensatory compensation. These are my pants. Okay. Um. I wore them just because I knew that <laughs> you were doing this today. All right, do this. Turn your head to the right, please. Good. Back to center. Turn your head to the left, back to center, right atlas laterality with a high right occiput, which means anterior atlas on the right. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. This will confirm it now. Back to center, that made it worse. Left down to your shoulder, back to center. Absolutely, C2 and lower cervical left, upper cervical right with the anterior. Do we need to adjust the occiput is the question. And there's really only one certifiable 
uh, it's the fluent analysis. And that's this one. Damn, that's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, concentrate all the time. <laughs> Good. Whoa, this extension is wild, dude. Mm -hmm. You're like a giraffe. <laughs> okay, that was too much. <laughs> They're gonna enjoy that too much, okay? Yeah, I know. All right, let's see. Um, no, your occiput feels very nice, actually. Do you get headaches ever? Mm -mm. Really? Mm hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no fun. All right, well, you have an anterior atlas, so if no one's ever told you that before, then no one's ever adjusted your atlas properly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anterior atlas, this is probably the most controversial adjustment I do. Why? It's not recommended by anyone. Why? Because I'm about to adjust the atlas from both sides. Okay, and you're going to tell me whether or not you feel the atlas moving underneath my fingers. Okay, mm -hmm. they need the feedback on this. Cause they... Okay, we're going to start on the right side. Mm -hmm. So the laterality is on this side, so we're going to go straight through like this. I'm going to try my best not to rotate it, but you know, mm -hmm. it's so hard not to rotate it. We just all want to rotate mm -hmm. it. Okay, you're doing good. You're breathing in and out through your nose. This is not good, actually. You're not doing good, okay? I'm mm. not going to be nice to you. You're doing terrible right now. You're about to get adjusted by a chiropractor, so... Mm. Chill. Breathe. Relax. <laughs> Why are you so nervous? What's I'm not... Happening? Have, you been tra have you been traumatized by a chiropractic adjustment before? I'm totally relaxed right now. This does not feel relaxed to me. But, like, I'm relaxed. One more time, Joe. Mm -hmm. Nope, that was lower. That, that was not, that was not my intended target. Still felt good. I know, it was, it was okay, it was good, it was okay. I'm just, I'm just a perfectionist. So let this relax. So this is rotated, so I'm gonna bring this like this. This includes a rotation purposefully, right here, Atlas. I want it underneath my fingertips. That was good, there's a little bit more though. Mm. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't my best work, but it's okay. It felt great. Good. All right, let's do this now. Bend your knees so that your feet are flat. Okay. This is called the specific dinger. <laughs> nice and gentle. We're going to lift like this. I'm going to pull out in this direction like that. Okay, you're doing good. <laughs> mm. That was nice. Mm -hmm. Look at where your legs went down. Oh, you have feet tattoos? I do. Oh, cool. I can't recommend doing that. Are these your, I know, it's the worst place to get a tattoo. It, it hurts the most. Did you have a dog that died? Yeah. I can't recommend doing that because now it looks like uh, flowers because your feet exfoliate faster mm -hmm. than other areas mm -hmm. of your body and it doesn't keep tattoos very, no, looking fine. very clean. It's okay. Well, well what, what lasts forever? What lasts forever? Exactly. Jesus. <laughs> Besides <laughs> God. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna crack your toes now, Pat. <laughs> Son of a. Get over here. Stop it. That one never does anything. What? Yeah, it just doesn't. It, Son of it doesn't. <laughs> that one does. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Relax. <sighs> Why is it the same one it on both never sides? Does. This is the this is the toe that means that you overthink things. Did I, you know that? I, yeah. This means you overthink things. <sighs> Stop thinking about it so much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not thinking. That worked. Talus. Talus. It's hard to read a talus after the Alice has been adjusted because mm -hmm. it always clears it out. Let it go. Happy place. Go to your happy place. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Happy. No. Mm -hmm. No. Son of a. Oh, there it is. Hold on. I think your good boy needs to be adjusted on the other side. And then I'll, then maybe this will go after that. Okay, I have to adjust your cute boy on this side. Hold on, not yet though. One more time. Let's just make sure. 
No. All right, keep it on this side. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. So you, this one like this, mm -hmm. here to here, mm -hmm. I'm thrusting up towards you. Hold here. Here? Oh, internal rotated. External rotated. Yes. Come down like that. You're kind of a little bit, a little bit to the outside and then just go straight down like that. Yeah. Didn't do it. It might not need it, but that's how you do it. You could try it with your forearm too. Oh, forearm. External? Mm -hmm. Down? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I feel the joint, like, I feel the end, the joint play at the end, which I guess is the, here. That way, maybe? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like a chiropractor, like, <laughs> the candy shop, like, oh my god, a new one. <laughs> this is the one that I don't, that the other one, I know a chiropractor in Dubai, she said she was going to teach me this one. Do you do this one at all? Mm -hmm. How's your digestion? Are you good? Mm -hmm. Bloating? Mm -hmm. Heartburn? Indigestion? I know. You know it's, you all that, it's all that nutrition that I believe in and okay. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any food restrictions? I mean, I try to eat clean. I try to eat real food okay. most of the time. But do you have restrictions? Does, that, does something suck? There's nothing, like, I can eat whatever I want. I just try not to eat things that are not good for you. Okay, very good. So, yeah. All right, <clears throat> first goes the ileocecal bowel. Okay, we locate this by first finding the umbilical here at the top of the ASIS, retracing between the two. Usually it's a little tender. Yours is there and very active right now. How's that feel? Is it tender? Mm. When did you eat? Like four hours ago? Mm -hmm. And so, so it's where the small intestine goes into the large intestine. In front of it represents the small intestine. And then after it is the large intestine and this door gets stuck open. So you really want it to be active and contracted. You don't want to find, you, you don't want it to be difficult to find because that means it's loose and all the bacteria is going from the colon into the small intestine. <laughs> I'm glad I'm dead. Yeah, she doesn't have any looseness here. Okay, so then I come up, I just come straight up the ascending into the transcending. Then we'll go back to the descending pyloric sphincter where the stomach empties into the duodenum is two inches above the belly button. We go right here. This doorway closes in this direction from left to right. That feels pretty good now. There. And then a diaphragm. Oh, give me some belly breaths here, Shell. Good end out. Oh, there we go. See how it works? <laughs> it works. Diaphragmatic breathing it increases gut motility. Come on, belly breath. And up. That's so crazy. Weird. Do more. <laughs> so weird. Nope, that was it. Cleared it. <laughs> that was good. You don't have to work a lot when you're when you mm -hmm. eat well. Right, hold on. What else was it? Um. All right. So, what was? Which way is your translation? Left anterior. Left anterior? Like it goes like left to it the left. It goes to the left? Mm -hmm. That means you need to lay on your left side. So lay on your left side. All right, so major mirror image right now. It really needs to be an activator, an activator, or an arthrostim is really the best thing to tap on the atlas right now. So you're saying that because of the translation to the left, you would adjust? Yeah. I thought the other way. No. Yeah. You technically you should be on the other in the other direction, and I should mm -hmm. be thrusting from your atlas this way. But okay. You had the atlas laterality on the right. So now I'm blending techniques. You know, this isn't okay. just CBP. This is really like CBP plus activator plus a drop table. The laterality is on this side, so I just give. Nope, that's the wrong way. Okay, let that go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, gentle. Here, turn your head just a little bit more that way. Good. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Where? Oh, I thought he was here. Okay. That's, yeah. Scary? No, I haven't had that done in probably like 12, 12 years. <laughs> Yes, in 12 years. Can I lay on your belly? Yeah. All right, you ready for the Logan technique? 
Oh man. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. All right, first of all, let's just check and see if you need it, okay? Okay. What if this whole SI joint is really your coccyx is all messed up because you fell on your butt one day? Um, it could be, I guess. It all right, well, let's more. palpate it and see, okay? Here's your SI joint, S2. S2 right here coming down. Here's the first coccyx segment, second, third. Any tenderness there? Mm, not really. Any tenderness here? Mm. You're thinking too long. Bend, oh, yeah. bend your knees. This is the other way you can check for it. This is what my mentor told me, but I don't think it's quite accurate. Oh, oh, see how that goes. See how that goes. Yeah, look over here. Look. See how that goes down more. Look, I'm just. It's so. It would be easy to cheat this, but like I just. There's no reason to cheat it because I actually want to know the information. But see how it just doesn't go on the one side. How does that feel to you? You feel that in your back when I do that? Do I feel what? Do you feel that in your back when I bend your knees like that? Not really. I feel okay. it in my quads. Okay, good. That means your SI joint, or that means your L5 S1 is clear at least. Okay, so let's just go back to this real quick. Ready? Mm -hmm. Right, left, right, left. Which one is oh, more wow. tender? Okay, ready? Okay, we're gonna hold that right there. You're really supposed to check the wave, but it's always at occiput anyway, so who cares? We just go right out to the occiput. Fingers always curled in like this. That way you return the chi back to your hand. And you don't displace the energy. You find this one here on the cot. You're on the. I always say sacral tuberous ligament, but that's not correct. Mmm. Does that suck right there, or not too bad? In your occiput. Um, your right hand is worse. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. That's what. This is really what we're working on, but we're trying to find the, the the, the two yes, point. Okay, now we just hold this. Now breathe. The respiration does the adjustment on cranial. Good, it's working, I can tell. Feel it letting go. Almost. <laughs> Parasympathetic. See, we got everything's working now, it's moving. Almost. That's good. Okay, now the recheck is the most important thing. So like just like the trap fiber, this is why SOT is really great for it. It's just you can really check the work. Ready? Mm -hmm. Right side, left side. Are they more even? The left hurts more now. It still hurts more? Yeah. Okay, we didn't get it yet. So we we gotta hold it. Here. Okay, maybe it is somewhere else. Maybe it isn't in the occiput. Maybe it is up here. We can hold another point. We can hold a glute fiber or we can hold a trap fiber. Is this tender out here, right there? A little bit. Okay, I don't like a little bit. Let's see if we have, no, no, that's it. There's a bunch of neurovascular bundle points right here. Those feel okay though. Then come up to the trap. I'm gonna hold that one right there. Gentle breathe. <laughs> okay, now that's changed. It's actually getting, it, it, it actually just firmed. That was interesting. It like became more firm. This doesn't work. I'm going to have to try something else much more drastic. So, all right, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Recheck. Right. Mm -hmm. Left. Mm -hmm. Still left, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to adjust your coccyx. Okay. Have you ever had your coccyx adjusted? Um, yeah, but I guess it depends which way you're talking about. <laughs> I'm going to adjust it right from here with you laying down. Okay, go for it. Okay. <laughs> Get any gloves? <laughs> like what I was asking. <laughs> All right, these pants will work. This is fine. They're just flexible enough. Okay, okay. can you breathe? Mm -hmm. Can you relax? 
Okay. Can you do it? Can you handle it or what? Yeah, it's painful. But yeah. Can handle it. <laughs> okay, you're doing good. It's almost there. Oh god. Okay, right there. <laughs> good. Right there. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. I, was... I must throw up. Okay, wait a minute, we'll recheck. Do you have an activator? Yeah. No. Not here. Okay, recheck. Right. Mm hmm Left. That's a little bit better. A little bit better? Mm hmm Still more on the left though? Um, when you do that, no, it's even. But it's still tender over there, yeah. right there on the left side. Ooh. All right, you know what you need. <laughs> you know what you need. What? You, you need a coxies adjustment, like a real one, like without pants on. Okay, not now. I was gonna say, like we're out of time restraint here. <laughs> All right, put your hand, push your elbow back against me right here. Okay. Push, push. As hard as you can, push. Good. Push this hand, push. Push, push. Good. Bring your chin down to your chest. Nice and gentle here. Good, nice and gentle. Reach around the front. Hold on to your elbow. Relax the elbow a little bit. Good. 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 Adjusted you first, so I'm like in la la land right now. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be. You're gonna have, we're gonna have to recover. Maybe do some like grounding exercises. Oh. Come back to normal reality. All right, cool. Thanks for letting me adjust you. Ah, oh, thank you for adjusting I me. I think it was possible, but you're even better now. You uh, were perfect before, but now it's. Oh, uh, I'm in like total la la land right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's hard to talk after you get adjusted. It, right? I'm like, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.